So yesterday, Nintendo made an announcement that a brand new trailer for Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury was happening at 9 a.m. Eastern time today. And a lot of people were excited for this because usually when you announce a trailer, there's something special that you want to show in it. You could just randomly drop a trailer and I think everyone would be happy. But no, Nintendo announced this, so expectations were high with this. I set an alarm clock for 8.30 and... I kind of just slept through it. I had a late night last night, you know, forgive me here, but yes. Indeed, today Nintendo did do a new trailer for Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, but there were some other Mario related announcements as well that I definitely want to talk about. So that's what we're going to do in this video. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video before you leave. But without any further ado, let's talk about this new trailer. Let's talk about the new Mario stuff that was announced from it and what I think about it. So the first thing I wanna talk about from this interesting morning was the fact that a brand new Nintendo Switch system was announced, but no, it's not a Nintendo Switch Pro. It's actually a Mario themed Nintendo Switch, which probably should have came out last year for the Mario 35th anniversary but I digress I do want to talk about this very briefly because there's actually a few interesting things from this now looking at the system itself you can see there is a big change to the Nintendo switch and the Nintendo switch dock it's actually red now we have seen other systems be released from Nintendo such as the Animal Crossing themed one but it didn't change the actual color of the system so this is a red system as you can see it also has a red Nintendo switch dock and I think it looks pretty clean like it looks pretty cool i'm kind of surprised nintendo hasn't done more systems like this looking at the joy con holder it is a light blue mario style joy con holder the joy cons themselves have an inner ring of both red and the inner ring is that mario blue and it actually comes with a nintendo switch case as well now this will be releasing on february 12th for 299.99 so the standard nintendo switch price but i think the timing of this is kind of interesting because it almost makes you feel like maybe nintendo's trying to clear out some stock because a new Nintendo Switch model is coming as far as a Nintendo Switch revision is concerned. I know that's sort of tinfoil hat conspiracy stuff, but the timing of it is very interesting because this is obviously going to drive Nintendo Switch sales. Like, low key, I kind of want one of these. Like, I just think it looks cool. I think the red dock looks cool. Of course, there has been a lot of speculation of what is going on with the Nintendo Switch dock that we've talked about previously on the channel. It's been very hard to get your hands on it in Nintendo Switch dock. Maybe this is one of the reasons why. But overall, I think this is a cool looking system. I find it very interesting that they are changing the color of the system itself. So very cool stuff here. I like this sort of stuff. I think this is stuff Nintendo should do. You know, remember how many awesome colors there were for like the N64, even the GameCube to some extent, maybe more so in Japan, but definitely like this. I think this is a cool little announcement and I kind of kind of want one, but you know, I don't really have a need for one. Next up, Nintendo talked about some stuff for Super Mario Bros. 35, which of course is the Battle Royale game that if you are a Nintendo Switch Online member, you get free access to. That just happens to be going away at the end of March, but we'll talk about that more in a second. Nintendo announced the following, a special event in Super Mario Bros. 35 in which players from all over the world can work together to try to complete goals during a set period of time. Now, of course, you have to have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, but it's obviously going to sort of change how things work. Players can put Mario skills to the test during the Super Mario Bros. 35 World Count Challenge, which will be held three times from January until March. And there's ac there's actually some sort of like um, platinum rewards that you can get from um, My Nintendo if you have that account. You can get 350 My Nintendo Platinum Plus points if you manage to defeat Bowser and the players around the world uh, number rises to 3.5 million. They're going to give some additional details uh, that will be taking place for this event but i find that kind of interesting because like i said this is obviously going away at the end of march as far as we know right now alongside of uh super mario brothers the 3d collection that we got from that so kind of weird with the timing of this you would think that maybe they would have done it a little bit sooner obviously this is once again part of the super mario brothers 35th anniversary celebration just sort of delayed i guess you could sort of blame it on covid and things like that because it obviously threw a monkey wrench into things but i do think it is nice that they 
they're adding some additional incentive to play this game as we get towards that D-Day of where you will no longer be able to play the game or download the game or check out the game, which I still think Nintendo needs to clarify something about this. It's a very bizarre situation, a situation that doesn't really make sense to me, but it is cool that they are adding in some stuff at the tail end of the life cycle of this game. But of course, the big thing that everyone was really looking forward to because it was the thing that we expected to see from this was the new trailer for Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, Super Mario 3D World came out on the Nintendo Wii U. It was honestly a fantastic game, but because of the fact that it was, well, on the Wii U, not a lot of people played it as the Wii U sold about 13 million systems, whereas the Nintendo Switch has already outsold the Nintendo 3DS. So there's definitely a bigger market for this game. And this game is a game that deserves a second chance because like I said, a fantastic game. Of course, in the core gameplay itself, they are including things like online play which was missing from the original release on the Wii U which was honestly pretty stupid so now you can play with friends online with this game and team up and take on the world but the Bowser's Fury portion was the thing that everyone was looking forward to because nobody knew what the hell Bowser's Fury was there was rumors that it was going to be sort of an open world segment and the trailer we got today showcasing the Bowser's Fury stuff looked absolutely awesome this honestly felt very western to me it didn't even feel necessarily like a nintendo of japan thing and i think that's pretty interesting so looking at what bowser's fury is yes it is essentially like a big open area where you play and you do different things bowser jr is a part of this as well there's hidden platforms there's power-ups that you're picking up i think the overall aesthetic of it looks very very cool it looks like a very vast and big area that you have to explore with this and i'm sure it's going to add a lot to the core gameplay of it but then like Bowser like goes absolutely crazy and he like hulks up and he becomes this huge creature and then the music turns into like almost like old school Sepultura music like you know the guitar riff and some deep rooted vocals and I was like whoa this is this is pretty cool and then mario himself ends up becoming a big character just lots of cool stuff from this and obviously this is something that nintendo has been sort of shifting towards with super mario games look at super mario odyssey where you had those big cool sort of darker boss battles that were in the game i thought that made the game really stand out and make the game really fun and sort of show almost a more mature side of the mario franchise that yes of course this game is for everyone but if you're in a adult you could still find fun in it and that's one of the things I got from this trailer was that sort of sense of more drear and despair and like that's a good feeling to have sometimes especially when it comes to a video game so I was very very impressed with the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury trailer because Bowser's Fury looks awesome this looks like something proper that will extend this game and make this game special even if you played it to death like I did on the Wii U there's a lot more incentive to pick up this game more so than other releases that we have seen that have come over from the Wii U. So overall, I was very impressed with this trailer. I love the visuals in it and just everything looked nice and clean. And then you had this huge Bowser and this metal music. And I was like, yeah, this, this is this is badass. So Nintendo also announced that two new Amiibo figures will be launching alongside the game and available for purchase separately. There's going to be a Cat Mario and a Cat Peach that will enhance the game. Bowser and Bowser Jr. also have large roles in the game as well, and their Amiibo figures will be returning for purchase at special retailers and will have activation things in Bowser's Fury as well. So some additional incentive stuff, you know, the Amiibo experiment kind of just fell off a cliff people thought it was going to be sort of the next thing in gaming but honestly toys to life and stuff like the collectible aspect of them is cool but when you release so many of them there's like only so much you could do with them so but overall i thought this was a very interesting announcement a lot of cool things came from this to celebrate mario's 35th anniversary the new nintendo switch system i think is very interesting because i really feel like they're sort of getting rid of stock of the systems and what better way to do that than to make a custom mario system System that well really it should have released last year like imagine if this was a, a Christmas item or something like that like I feel like people would have been snagging this up left and right just because of how cool the aesthetic is and the fact that this is a different colorway of a system something we have not seen yet with the Nintendo Switch the Super Mario Brothers 35 stuff you know it's, it's pretty cool I am sort of concerned because this game is going away so soon it's like can't can't you extend it for like six more months or something like that what if somebody gets this new Nintendo Switch 
Switch system and then wants to play this game like they have a month and a few weeks to play it. Like, I don't know. That just seems ridiculous to me. And then Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. I think it just looks absolutely amazing. This is a incentive to get this game. Even if you played it to death on the Wii U, adding in things like online multiplayer, this whole Bowser's Fury portion of the game looks absolutely awesome. There's new gameplay mechanics in this Bowser's Fury section as well. It just looks like a winner to me. And that's something that Nintendo really hasn't done a great job with, with some of their Wii U to Nintendo Switch ports. But it's nice to see them doing that with this game because this game definitely deserves a chance to shine. And I think it's going to sell very, very well. Like it's going to be a crazy month in the month of February for the Nintendo Switch. And I'm definitely very excited for it. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think of all this stuff. Are you going to pick up one of these new Nintendo Switch systems because you like the colorway? What do you think about the Super Mario Brothers 35 stuff? And of course, Bowser's Fury. Now that we've gotten a look at it, does this give you incentive to want to pick up this game on the Nintendo Switch, either for a second time or for the first time? And if it is for the first time, you're definitely going to get a great game. And I do want to clarify one thing that I messed up in in yesterday's video when talking about the X-Men Arcade 1-Up Cabinet. I said it was a two-button cabinet. It's actually a three-button cabinet. There's punch, jump, and then your special attack. But I just don't use the special attack on mine because my layout is a two-button for my custom WrestleFest cabinet because the special effect just kind of drains your health anyways and I haven't mapped to where I can do it should I choose to want to do it but that was really bothering me that I said it was a two button thing and it's actually a three button thing also LaMelo Ball he didn't shoot great last night but he balled out last night I'm telling you folks rookie of the year and as always guys I will catch you guys on the next video later